A local artist is turning heads near Providence's east side. And we found out why she's bringing the past into the future. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto is in Providence with tonight's street story. Right around this corner, history is coming to life about the people who lived here long, long before it was known as Providence's Mount Hope neighborhood. Everything will be bold so that you can see it from the street. They tried, they tried to put us down, but as then and now we still stand proud. It will be a bright reminder of a time when the artist Wampanoag and Narragansett ancestors lived here. We are, hey, are, hey, are, hey, are. And often came to this overlook now known as Mount Hope. So anything that was on a mountain, it was like strategic to be able to see who was coming in around you. The bloodline of the Wonka Shanks. We were from Mount Hope and we lived here for 10,000 years. So this land has layers and layers of history in it. Creator lives in all of my relations. Deborah Spears Moorhead has been painting Native American art for almost 40 years. I get to, to illustrate our story in our words. The bloodline survives of Massasoit's line. It doesn't have any cultural biases. Native American by a Native American. The faces depict actual tribe members. From the past, Chief Sunset, who led the Narragansetts in the 20s. And as she continues the mural toward Cypress Street, you will see present day Native Americans, including Spears Moorhead's self portrait and the Narragansetts' Randy Noka. Uh, hey, oh. She hopes the mural will provoke questions about Native American struggles and success and an understanding about who was here and still is. I want them to think that we were here, we're still here, and we continue to be here in the future. That we're not people of the past. You can see it in our eyes, it will never die. And she's on the clock. She has about two weeks to finish it before it's unveiled as part of a neighborhood celebration. More details on that on WPRI.com. On Cypress Street in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.